evening to everyone. It is an enormous honor for me to be joining you at this important event organized by Solidarity for Democratic Iran to celebrate International Women's Day. We have among us tonight some of the most courageous and outspoken feminist warriors engaged in the struggle for women's equality today. And like you, it is from these real life, modern day heroines that I would like to hear and whom I would like to commend and I would like to applaud. So I'll make my remarks very brief. We are so fortunate here in Canada that the fight for women's rights and women's equality is a battle that has been won thanks to our mothers and our grandmothers and our great grandmothers. In Canada, women's rights are protected under law. We enjoy dignity and respect in society and we are free to pursue our ambitions wherever they may take us, be it the highest offices or the executive suites across the land. But as we all know too well, such liberties are not enjoyed universally. In any country ruled by Sharia law, and in Iran in particular, the ruthless subjugation of women is a daily fact of life. It's brutal, it's barbaric, is profoundly unjust, it's morally wrong. Tonight, we gather because we know there is hope. And there is hope because, as I have learned over 10 years now, working with this community, Iranian women are among the mightiest people you could possibly hope to know anywhere on earth. Iranian women, like the women we will hear from tonight, like the women in this auditorium, like the women in the streets of Tehran willing to risk their safety and lose their liberty for the crime of allowing their hair to blow in the wind or the crime of expressing their joy through dance, these women will not be kept down. These women will not allow a regressive, misogynistic regime to control or dominate them any longer. And thanks to the fearless activism of women like Massey, and Roya, and Nazanin, and Shaparat, and Avadeh, and all of you in this room. Women in Iran are fearlessly standing up for their rights, and they know they are not alone. We are here with them. I am with them, and you are with them. Here in Canada, we need political leaders from every party and every community to join together to demand that the malignant Iranian regime release its political prisoners and provide fundamental human rights to all citizens, male and female. And I would like to, to greet and to thank my fellow parliamentarians here tonight, uh, past and present and future, there are future ones here, and in particular, MP Cheryl Hardcastle, the Vice Chair of the Federal Human Rights Committee. I would like to add, that there must be no place in this country for any politician who tries to ingratiate himself to promote the agenda of the malign Iranian regime from inside the halls of our Canadian Parliament. This International Women's Day, let us stand in solidarity with the women of Iran who yearn for freedom and for democracy. Their struggle is our struggle. May they find strength in our collective voice as we link arms across oceans to demand justice, equality, liberty, and peace for the women of Iran. Thank you.